I love this kid. Come on, Sammy. Come on, Sammy. Come on, Sammy. Please, 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 please. Come on. Come on. G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to discuss the Melbourne and Adelaide game uh, where last night we lost on the siren because Sammy Wiedemann missed a shot. Now I went online last night to defend Sammy Wiedemann. One, because I think he's going to be a good player, just given what I've seen. Back down the line, Wiedemann! Two, he's the nicest bloke. He's one of the nicest blokes I've ever met. And three, I don't think it was his fault that we lost the game last night. Some people were writing to me, oh, he's missed a kick from 45 out directly in front on the siren and you don't think it's his fault you lost? And I honestly don't. Up until the third quarter, the D's had kicked 11 goals six. Very accurate goal kicking. We ended the game on 12 goals 16. We kicked one goal 11 to finish off the game. Now, I know Sam Wiedemann had the ultimate kick. Penultimate. I don't know my words. Now, I know Sammy Wiedemann had the last kick of the game, the one to win it. There were so many chances before that that should have been kicked. If one of those go through, we win the game. People were saying, oh, he was 40 metres out directly in front. You can't miss that. It's a 10 out of 10 kick. A 10 out of 10 kick. Last quarter, dewy conditions, 45 out, game on the line, is a 10 out of 10 kick. You don't miss it, 10 out of 10. I think that's just unfair. People were also saying that this is the guy you got rid of Hogan for. You got rid of Hogan for Sam Wiedemann. Technically, we never got rid of Hogan. He left. Technically, technically, we got Sam May and Cade Collajasny for Hogan. and. Third, yes, I think Sam Wiedemann, in the bigger picture, oh, if Hogan leaves, Sam Wiedemann's come, you know, I think in the bigger picture, yes, Sam Wiedemann was factored in. But I personally believe there was another key forward that we had that was in cracking form in 2018 that would have been factored in a little bit more into the Hogan deal. Against Gold Coast, I was stoked that we pulled that win out of the bag, but I walked away from that game going, that wasn't too impressive. We, we shouldn't have let Gold Coast be anywhere near us towards the end of that game. We had our chances to put them away. Had the same feeling with this one. Um, if Sam Wiedemann kicks that, I would have walked away from that game going, how did it get that close? Like, why didn't we not put them away? We should have been further ahead. I still have that feeling now where we have lost, but I feel like we should have been further ahead. We should have won, and that's why I don't personally feel like it's Sam Wiedemann's fault. There was a lot of opportunities late that we should have just kicked. And we kick one of them, we win. Yeah, he missed one. He missed one to win the game, but he was the one that took the mark. He was the one that took the big contested clunk. There's a lot of other key forwards that weren't thereabouts. Where does it leave the season now? I said after the Gold Coast game, that's probably done for us. I just thought, we're not, it's not clicking. Hibbard went down. Malksham went down. <clears throat> More injuries got added onto our injury list already. I thought it's just not our year. So I, I personally think we're done. I don't know. I don't want to, you know, scrape in at eight. I don't want to just... I'd rather finish 12th and put the players on ice and get them ready for next year, get them fit, get them prepared for next year, rather than like rush Lever back, rush May back. They do injuries late in the year, sets back their pre-season, and we just do the same thing next year. I reckon we just put them on ice. We blood like your Oscar Bakers and um, and your Jay Lockhart, some players like that that can come through and add to our depth. There's just no point rushing Lever, rushing May, rushing Malksham, um, you know, trying to force these players back into the side when there's not going to be anything really productive about that. So I'm more than happy to concede that 
you know, it's just not our year. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Bit of an emotional one. I love the D's. I'll be back. We'll go. I'll be going to Queen's birthday, so that that could that could get ugly, or it couldn't. Anyway, I appreciate everyone watching, and I'll see you all next week. Cheers.